Hello everyone. Welcome back to The Encouraging Word. My name is Jeremy Henderson, and I'm the pastor of the Butler Church of the Nazarene. I'm also blessed to be able to bring you an encouraging word from God's Word, the Bible, each week. Now, we've been in a new series for the last couple of months called Growing in the Seasons of Life. And one of the areas of growth in life and in our relationships with the Lord and with others is actually found in how we handle temptation. If we want to succeed in handling temptation the right way, we must appropriate God's promises to us in his word concerning temptation. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 is a verse that's worthy of memorization. It says this, God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Now, throughout the years, as a pastor, I've, I've heard people say things like, well, pastor, I just couldn't help myself. The temptation was impossible to resist. I just had no choice but to give in. More than likely, you've probably heard someone say that yourself. And when someone says that, especially a Christian, they're basically saying God's word isn't true. You see, God has promised that he will always offer an escape from the temptations that we face. Now, that way out might be painful, it might be rough, it might even be embarrassing, but make no mistake, there will always be a way out. And sometimes that way out may actually involve you leaving the scene. You know, that's exactly what Joseph did when Potiphar's wife thrust herself upon Joseph, wanting to take him to bed with her. Joseph slipped out of her grasp and he ran. Now, you may not find yourself in Joseph's shoes in terms of the temptation you face, but you may face the same choice in the midst of your temptation, the choice to stay and play with fire or to recognize temptation for what it is and run from it. You see, God in his word has promised us a way out. Will we believe in his promise? Your enemy, the devil, is constantly battling for control of your mind. When God gives us an idea, it's inspiration. When the devil gives you an idea, it's temptation. And we choose throughout the day what thoughts we're gonna focus on and dwell on. We can change our mind and gain the victory over temptation by replacing temptation with truth, particularly God's truth found in the Bible. And the Bible tells us in James chapter 4, verse 7, Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So that's good news. But how do we go about doing that? How do we resist the devil? Well, we do so by preparing for temptation before we ever get into it. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17 tells us to take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So, there's two things here in this verse that are essential for victory over temptation. First, accept God's salvation as your helmet. So, what does a helmet do? Well, a helmet protects your head. It protects your mind. And that, if you remember, is where the battle is going on. So before you can say no to the devil, you need to learn to say yes to Jesus, to his truth, to his way, to his control. You see, his power comes to us through his salvation and through the sanctifying presence of the Holy Spirit that lives in us. Secondly, we use God's word as a sword. Truth 
is the antidote to temptation. You can keep your Bible on the coffee table at home, but it's not going to do you a lot of good if you never open it, if you never read it, if you never study it, if you never get the truth of God's word into your mind. See, hands down, the single most effective tool for combating temptation is to memorize the scriptures. Now, if you don't have any verses memorized, you don't have any weapons for the fight. And when the enemy comes along, how are you going to counter his attack? The enemy isn't afraid of your opinion, but I can tell you he does tremble at the truth of God. So, the sword of God is the truth of God, but it only becomes a weapon that you can use in your battle against the enemy when you memorize it, when you know it. So perhaps a good passage to start memorizing is the one that we started with, 1 Corinthians 10, 13. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you're tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Now that's what I call an encouraging word. That's it for today, my friends. But I hope you'll join me next week for another encouraging word from God's Word. And I also hope that you'll join me this Sunday at Butler Church of the Nazarene here in Butler, Missouri. Our Sunday morning worship service begins at 10.30 a.m. And we're located at 110 West Nursery Street in Butler, Missouri. And I know if you'll come, you'll discover a place and a group of people where you know you belong. If you're unable to be with us on site, I'd encourage you to tune into our worship service online through our Butler Church of the Nazarene Facebook page and our Butler Church of the Nazarene YouTube channel. God bless you all. Please remember that God loves you and that you belong to the Butler Church of the Nazarene. Have a fantastic rest of your week.